Leo, yo, 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 happy B day, late B day. Sleepy for screaming? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm gonna start a little early because I started so late, so let's just get started, huh? How about that? How about that? What's up, everybody? Ah, how's it going? Um, yeah, big day, big day, people. Um, Deficit City is reopening. Oh, we got a little delay on the speech voice. <clears throat> doing good. We're doing good. How's it going? Everyone wish Elio a late birthday. We're going to do some games, probably. Maybe some garlic phone or whatever. Maybe tomorrow night, I'm thinking, we'll do a nice late night. We'll do a couple late nights. It'll be fun. Lucy's birthday? What are you talking about? Today? Today cannot be Lucy's birthday. There would, no, there would be no way of us not knowing. Is it today? How could Lucy not tell us?
That's evil. Also, how is it Thursday? Every Thursday never feels like Thursday. It's bizarre. Um, I'm gonna try new music again. I did this during Garlic Bone the other day. It's gonna be, it's kind of chill. Just some Wurlitzer piano. Oh, Vi, 25 months is insane for the big Thursday. Appreciate it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so we're going to probably check the billboard real quick. And then I don't know what Soiling has in plan. Maybe I think there's a lot of updates to Deficit City, so it'll probably be like another tour kind of thing. Um, is what I'm guessing, but we'll just go with the flow, see what's up. Let me see, I think I heard Corey. Maybe? Oh. False alarm. Okay. Well, if it's Lucy's B-Day, happy B-Day, B-Day Lucy. I can't believe we didn't know. Evil. Um. Okay, let's pop it. Let's drop it. You know what we do. How's everyone doing? Let's see if this is gonna work. There it is. There it is, baby. <clears throat> okay. It's nighttime in Frogville, huh? Um so yeah, what did I do this week? Um uh, mostly I worked on decorating my apartment, worked on some updates. Uh, cause if you missed it last week, I got, I finally got a dog named Rufus and, um, he's very epic. We moved into an apartment downtown, pretty cool. I decorated it. So I'll probably end the stream with that, show you the apartment and how I decorated it so far. And also I've been working on renovating Frog HQ. So if you walk in, you might notice that most of it is kind of blocked off right now because I'm I'm redoing all the interior all the guts of HQ right now it looks I heard the, the sound scared me honestly ah um just a delayed reaction um I would show you I kind of want to keep it a surprise gonna be crazy I I want to think of something cool to do but a lot of the downstairs has been kind of unused so I want to and even like the little farm things, I don't think we really need now that there's like a whole town. So I might just have fun with it. Um, do some Frogville stuff down there, hangouts areas. So light out. I know it is, it was so sunny today too. Um, and also I don't know if I should, I guess it's fun to start at HQ cause it is Frogville stream, but it could also be cool to start like spawning in my apartment. I've been trying to think just about my future in Frogville. Like, what should my job be? Should my am I mostly focusing on building, or should I try to be like president? Should it be its whole nation, or am I just doing whatever? I don't know. Maybe I should do odd jobs. Yeah, maybe I should just work at McDonald's. But as you know, Spooky is the mayor. Which is epic. I've just been trying to think of what could be fun to do in Frogville. Kick him down. Kick him down the construction thing. Yeah, that'd be an owie. But yeah, let's let's hit up the old uh, what you call it? Um, bulletin board. I always want to call it billboard. Oh, also I added a bunch of mo a bunch more. Um, like random chains around to like kind of be like telephone wires. One thing that I thought would be a fun thing to try in town is like hide and go seek or a tag type game that is kind of like the floor is lava where you're not allowed to go on, gr on street level. So you have to like only travel on roofs or like anything above street level. But I think I just need to add a few more like little walkways to make it fun um but you know like i i think this one no this one was already here right or no maybe this one was here what one did i add i added this one for sure 
I remember adding this one. I've been adding like different um, power lines around town and I think it would be cool to make like a power plant somewhere or it might be related to Kilk. That's where all of this energy is. Put some birds. I could put some birds on them. I wonder how I could make that look cool. Oh, I added this one too. A couple of these. So this one is really long. This one goes from my apartment. Then I added this one. And uh, yeah, this one goes all the way to Target. Cosplay has a bird. And then I added this one also, which is maybe the longest one. It goes all the way from, from Ikea to like the farm. This one's kind of cool because you can like follow it all the way over the zoo and into Old Town and then all the way to the farm. <clears throat> Lucy's here! Lucy, is it for real your birthday? That's crazy. Happy big birthday. You and Elio are doubled up. We gotta have extra late nights. Okay, if you gotta go, but thanks for saying hi and happy birthday. That's so epic. Have a good day. For real, that's insane. You guys tripled. Yeah, and spooky just happened, right? Last week, or was it last week? A couple weeks ago. And then yeah, I added this kind of thing, which is kind of cool to me. <laughs> and yeah, maybe I'll. Add, I was thinking about adding these weird uh, antenna things downtown. Could be a funny lore thing. Um, so yeah. This random stuff I've been working on. Let's get on with the show, shall we? Oh, one other idea I had. <laughs> which might be a bad idea. But I thought it could be an interesting thing to put out there. Is what if we had, like, a purge day. Where there's, like, one day in Frogville where if you stay in frogville that day you get like special awards but you can choose whether you want to like hide or just run out and fight and you can just no griefing or anything but you're allowed to kill you want so it could be a funny thing to add but maybe frogville doesn't need a purge maybe that's why i'm not mayor anymore i'll oh, plant bombs no bombs please but a purge could be a funny war thing. <laughs> hey. Gotta do the Muppet fact. Whew. Okay, in real life lore, the best Fraggle Rock character Boober was named after an angry cow. Whoa. In show lore for the language of the ancient Fraggles, Boober means I am do a rock. I like that. I need that on a t shirt. Boober is a little guy. Oh yeah. We need like a whole... Spooky should publish a whole book of like... Of Muppet facts. Oh, you know what would be cool? If Frogville had like a book publisher. So you could submit like your book to the bookstore and then we can like... Like add it to the stock so people can buy copies of it. That could be kind of cool. Like we have the library, but it could be cool to have a thing where you could like publish your own works of fiction that you can get money based on uh, whatever gets sold. Huh? That could be a cool idea. Maybe I'll write something. Okay, so let's see what's new here. Steak knives now open. I don't know what, but he's selling. They're selling. See, Devil City reopens. The black block is a new mystery in Poop Inc. There's all these black blocks around that seem to be dangerous, and we're told to stay away from them while they're studied. So, because we're not really sure what they're from, they seem like they could be dangerous. So, we're just trying to. If you see any black blocks around Devil City or Frogville, um, try not to touch them. Um, is that all that's new? 
This is from last week, but a reminder, Spooky Cam Inc. now sells discs. Epic. Press center open. Yeah, this is mostly old stuff. Let's see. Steak Knives, I think, is that new business over here. Let's check that out. Um, is Mango here? No, Mango's not here. I noticed that all of these got purchased, but I don't know who purchased them. I know that the black one is owned by Gabe and I think the green one is owned by Mango but I don't know who bought the pink one but someone bought all of these and didn't um, put a sign up um, but yeah here's steak knives let's see what steak, steak knives This is the shop. Like buy a golden apple. Yeah, they take so one. Ooh. Crunchy. That seems like a good deal. I don't really know the deals. <clears throat> Alright. The soiling is here. Luke's gotta go. Oh no! We'll watch the vlog. Okay. See you later. New Depth of City things. I'm excited for the to see everything new. Boiling. Gabe up to. That's Gabe and Randy. Yes, it will be a brief tour. Cool. Tour. Abe's busy, busy. That's okay. Well, I'm gonna do the tour either way. Just running with Bestie. This is fun. I could go on more jogs like this. It would be funny to have a jogging club in Frogville. We should have a jogging club. Oh, hello. What's up? Well, thanks for joining. Not keep it together. I do love Frogville, so I'm, thanks for checking it out. I'll, I, I can give a brief tour. Um, in the stream after this and if you ever want to come hang out it's doors are always open please do um, right now we're gonna we're going to Soiling's town at the city this is looks like new stuff well a lot of new new museum exhibits and updates including new gift shop museum poop dome opening soon City Apparel, Castle, hell yeah, it's like you're walking food, yeah, Oops, funeral, this is all new stuff, new district system, that's cool, new housing and business system, we'll have to revamp the systems, Do not touch the black spots, this is the bulletin board as a showcase of all updates to deficit. But yeah, this is the town that was founded by Mr. Pooh. 
no longer with us, but Soiling was his right hand man who took her. Just looking at everything that's new. Oh, so this is a revamped business bureau, looks like. See what he says before I go snoop. Like there's a new system to uh, how deficit works. <clears throat> this is the updated homeowners association and better. structures to roads is so it seems like it's now open to more um, different kind of builds I'm building oh so this is how you would apply it's an example so if you want to build it Instead of buying deeds, you can buy a builder's permit. This permit will give you more freedom with what and where you can build in Def City. Oh, so you get a permit and then you just have to like apply, filling out what you intend to build. And the consequences. Uh, okay. Not build in town unless given permission. So basically, you have to fill out the permit and then um, it will be approved or declined by Soiling. Um, sounds like if Soiling is on, you could just give it to Soiling, otherwise, you would put it in here. And then just say what you want to build. So you will buy a permit. you have filled out a permit, you can return the permit to me or the barrel. Sweet. It just seems like before you would just buy a plot for like so many diamonds, but now it's pretty much one diamond to build whatever you want and then it gets approved or disproved by boiling. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> you have this. That's awesome. I like that. Maybe I should build something. Like a mini. I wonder what I would sell. <clears throat> so, are there still plots? Or is it, what is the amount of space that you can have? Uh, I thought the old system made it difficult to want to build in Deficity. I wanted to give more freedom while still staying true to Deficity's roots. Yeah. Um. Is there a limit to the amount of space, or is it just you have to probably say how much space you plan on using? <clears throat> this is awesome. So yeah, I like that there's more freedoms. You may be asked. Plots have been removed in favor of giving residents freedom for the size and shape of the building. Cool, cool, cool. So you theoretically could build something big, but it still has to be approved. Rentably updating Minecraft. I played almost two years. I know, the new... We still need to update the server. Um, but I'm excited that there's like so many new things that got added to this new update, actually. Like, backend stuff that we can excited about it. nice yeah, I wonder
wonder what I can... Definitely gonna buy one. <clears throat> uh, we're in just 1.19 right now. Which is pretty kind of outdated, but we just... We do a lot of shopkeeper plugins and sometimes they take a little longer to update things. Um, sometimes we skip a couple of the minor updates, but it's a good excuse to update. So we're going to probably update soon. <clears throat> if a build is considered disruptive, I will ask the owner to clean it up. Fair enough. 1.19 to 119 or shouldn't break anything. Yeah, I don't think so. If anything, the shopkeepers will just Sometimes they don't follow you. Let me you. What a shop. Ooh, oh my gosh. 64 cookies for one gold. Crazy. Toy shop now sells cake. The cookies also receive a price cut. I know, seriously. Same. Fair enough. Yeah, so now let's check out the museum. There's a gift shop update. You? Ooh. Oh my god! This is what I was literally kind of what I was just talking about. This is awesome. And buy Mr. Poop's journal. So if you missed it, Mr. Poop created all of Death City and Poop Inc. And this is his journal of everything that he did during his life sadly no longer with us but you can buy i'm gonna read through that you can buy a soiling head too clean up sub sandwich museum has a few new and update exhibits there's also the be beginning of deaf city museum gift shop oh there's new updated Mr. Poops got updated? Oh. This is his up. Yeah, because it wasn't updated before death. And yeah, if you ever do join Frogville, we have multiple museums to catch up on everything happen but you don't really need to know but it's just fun this is the exhibit of mr poop his legacy lives in all exhibits however i thought i should make him huh oh the dome Poop Dome. Construction of the Poop Dome begins. This was in November. Construction of the Dome is completed. Mr. Poop begins creating kits and... Yeah, that was that. Mr. Poop opens the Poop Dome for a day. It was close to when he passed. Only really opens... Um, it's gonna, that's gonna open soon. This is the exhibit for the Dome. <laughs> oh my god, this is an exhibit of the funeral. Mr. Poop's funeral. January 19, a funeral was held for Mr. Poop. Each. Uh, every time the spread comes back, there was Mr. Poop. No frog vote with Mr. Poop. It's true. It's supposed to be a tear stream. This exhibit is for Mr. Pew's funeral, funeral. I included some of my favorite quotes. Yeah, the quotes. I love this. <laughs> do, do, do. 
Probably build a house in Death City. This looks new. Important item. I think we saw all those. <laughs> there are more important items since the last time we. How oh, is this Spooky Chameleon's Valentine's Day gift? Let's go. Go. Like, uh. I think we saw all those. Voice section has also been tweaked to include me becoming. Well, soon. Oh, hopefully. Moon's coming up. Frog mode. What's up, Ricky? We're going, Ricky. Ricky. Memphis City is opening back up, so we're just taking a tour. Frog bro. Frog mode. It's actually Frog in the new Fox Academy music video. <laughs> the three A version. Hell yeah. It's actually four, technically. Crazy. But, if you've heard three, you've heard the four. I love. So I, I'm actually crazy for not putting it on my out on the last album, but I think it's cool for it to like stand on its own with multiple versions. This is the business district. Although residents can build wherever they want, I made districts so areas within Defa City can have similar buildings in one area. Oh. So this is more shops and stuff. It's cool. I like that. Cleared some space over there by taking down a couple of the towers that were not being used, so residents have their own towers. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I should build a tower. I gotta build a I gotta work on a business plan though. I've been needing a job. The subway, we love the subway, the sewer subway. Did art and music type stuff in college? Yeah, I did, um... I studied graphic design in college. Um, but I also did, like, um... I did a lot of work as, like, freelance illustration was my main thing, but I went to school for graphic design because that's what they tell you makes the moolah even though I was always in it right, but I learned some graphic design stuff so that helped me like design album covers and stuff a little bit 
but I was kind of too distracted with my music and stuff during college. But I did learn Photoshop and a lot of that stuff. But yeah, I think your website is really cool. I need to redo my website, but thank you. Birthday, I got a big ass wooden whale sculpture. Whoa, how big are we talking here? Wooden whale is sick. I've been, Corey and I have been wanting to get into woodworking lately, like carving. The sewer subway still needs some work. However, I put three shops not being used up for sale. If you would like to open a business in the sewer subway, you can buy a builder's permit to get one of these shops. <laughs> Aw, handle. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Yeah, it looks like you can buy this one, this one. This is like the infrastructure of Frogville. Um, there's like a main city. Like a main island is the city of Frogville. And then there's like other expanded territories to every direction, north south east and west that have kind of uh less things but are still considered Brockville territory they're probably going to be future like sub towns but right now they're just um territory that is claimed um frogville it's mostly just runs on shopkeepers. um so currency is all with raw ores and diamonds you know just so you can't like farm for currency so diamonds and just raw ores that you like raw gold that um on. and uh yeah it's pretty chill but it's kind of ever expanding so there's now there's like a real estate kind of system now that so much of the land is taken up where you can like purchase space to live. If you want to be closer to the city, that land you would want to probably purchase unless we find a spot for you for free. Um, I don't know, it's kind of whatever we want it to be. This is the housing district. Again, people can build elsewhere, but this is the main housing area. Oh, cool. So there's multiple districts. I don't know if that's what you meant, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, um, it definitely has its ups and downs. Sometimes it's quiet, sometimes it's hustle bustle, all business. Mike, he needs a teepee into town. I'm not in town. Um, if you can give me cords, then I can do that, but I don't have, tell me cords that you want me to I'm not over there right now. I like the sound of that. But yeah, there's freedom to like basically do whatever you want. But if you want to like build within the kind of like mini economy of Frogville, you can. There's like rentable um, business spaces. Or you can go off and start your own town if you want. But it's like, you know. Usually if you're not Mr. Poop, most people who try to make their own town kind of get burnt out, you know, because they're doing it in survival, whereas, you know, Rockville is mostly built by mods and creative and I. <clears throat> and we also have, like, uh, ATMs, which help you convert, like, all the currency, which, but I think I might make it so that you can apply to have an ATM. Oh, Mr. Unko is here. Oh, new fit. Big swelling off. <laughs> Whoa, Unko's got the new fit. Unko's got the lab fit. Telling that people build house into if they desire. Ooh, a mountain. Oh yeah, that is cool.
No Mr. Uncle Fit. The shades are crazy. That's awesome. I don't know you could have like they look transparent. Um, but yeah, we also have like a image maps plugin so you can get, you know, custom signs of whatever images you want. If you have a business, I'll make them for free, but we also have like a print shop where you can pay to have uh, prints of whatever images you want to like put up in your house or whatever. This is the hospital. We are prioritizing tr treatment of Mr. Poop currently. However, when we are done with that, Deficit City Hospital will treat all Deficit City residents. Oh. Good day, Mr. Unko. <clears throat> I think we're almost done with the tour, and then I'll give you the quick Rogville tour so you can kind of see where everything is. Uh, but it is kind of ever evolving. You know, it kind of started out more just like relaxed and whatever people wanted it to be, but then. There's definitely more of like a hub kind of economy kind of system now that if you want to be part of you can or you can go off a million blocks away and build your own thing. Just play by. But um, pretty much every Thursday we play games for prizes on stream. It's fun. And uh, yeah, we just see like what is new, what people built. It's a small but um, active epic community. It's cool. Dang, the dome's looking crazy. Look at the dome. <clears throat> this is Town Square. Oh, cool. It holds the arena and the dome. There's also a port and a bunker in progress. Oh, a bunker? Uh oh. Where's the port? Your favorite chicken nugget? I'm a sweet and sour guy, to be honest. Um, well, if we're talking just specifically McDonald's, but I like uh, honey mustard with some hot sauce in it, like some uh, crystal hot sauce in it. It's pretty good. Yeah, buffalo is good. This will be the location of any large business in Dev City. Because of that, residents will need special permission to build. Oh, so this is kind of like downtown. It's cool. That bomb. That's a nuclear bomb. Chill game. Oh, this is a port. I see, I see. So this is going to be the port. Yeah, I would need to make a part two. <sighs> you? Yeah. Won't get on tonight since it's almost 2 a.m., but I'll try, def, try to hop on at some point. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, definitely pop in the Discord. Um, I can get a real tour want, or you can just run around on your own. Port will be here. We are still clearing out canals to give access to Frogville. Any other cities, city water access. I like that idea. I've been wanting. Oh, UK. Okay. Where will happen soon? I'll try to make it quick. We're pretty much. So. Uh,
Dome will be open very soon when there are more people to fight in the dome, I will. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, the, the dome, if you didn't know, it's a big, like, fighting arena. We play, like, um, death matches there. Very fun. Sometimes we do like a laser tag type thing with uh, spectral arrows. And that's fun. Pretty cool map. Lesk. What's the soup? What do they have for dinner? What do you have? What kind of foods do you have? Poop. Didn't know this is a big uh at you. Who knows? Here we go. <sighs> you never yeah, can't go wrong with PB and J. Honestly the best sandwich. What is your uh drop your bread, peanut butter, and jelly choice though? And what is your opinion on Uncrustable? Ooh, this is like a new area. Oh, I feel like that wasn't there before. I like the street system. Butter jelly pizza. Sounds kind of good, actually. That's got. That's got to be a thing. Anyone tried that before? We can make that. only air thrown I like that marshmallow yo marshmallow like any bread and maybe blueberry jelly never had it and strawberries marshmallow fluff that's not PB and J though sounds pretty good though would try it. This is cool, this is it? Conference meeting room. This is the meeting hall. This is where I can meet with leaders and people of interest. This was originally going to be the throne room. However, I wanted to prioritize intercity relations within Dev City. Nice. Yeah, I like that Soiling is running Dev City. You know, still with the heart of what Mr. Poop stood for, but is you know like just making little changes that are true to Soiling. How's still honoring Mr. Poop, but we got just a different vibe about. Respect. I think that was the last thing, we'll see. Do do. <clears throat> Death City is awesome. But yeah, this was your tour of Death City. Um, 
if you're even new to Frogville, you can live here if you want. You don't have to live in Frogville. I was thinking of, of maybe it could be interesting to. I don't know. I was thinking of like renaming the server to be more of a world thing, but I guess Frogville is the heart of it still. <clears throat> Hogwarts. <laughs> Frog universe. <laughs> That includes the tour. I hope this much needed change for Deficit City will encourage people to move in and make some businesses. Thank you for your time. There is much more to come. So are there taxes? No. People have tried to add taxes. <laughs> yeah, you had a business there, huh? Okay. <laughs> you have to pay rent? No. Um, well, some people in other towns like to charge rent. If you... Yeah, so Gabe... If you wanted to make your own apartment building, you could charge rent in it if you wanted. Um, but I haven't made any businesses that you need to pay rent in, but there are apartment buildings where you can stay in for free. So, okay, so here I'll give you the, the super quick tour. So this is Frogville. Um, sometimes the spawn anchor when you first join doesn't work, but you should generally spawn in this area, somewhere around here. You'll see this big Frogville sign and this hill, um, but this is the welcome center. So if you're new, you can pop in here and it'll just kind of give info on the server. Um, I probably will update some of this soon, but it should be pretty much updated. Just kind of the rules of the server in general. Um, but it's pretty typical, you know, just like... No griefing, that kind of thing. Um, we might open up some amounts of... The thing is, like, we like to have fun with the lore, so like, some amount of crime has to be allowed for some of that, but... If you're like blowing up people's houses, that's not okay. A small amount, if it's like just to be funny or some part of the story, I don't know. But generally we don't like griefing. We do like a story, so it kind of depends. Crime is permitted, but not terrorism. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. So yeah, me, Fox Todd, my name is Michael, but my, my game name is Fox Todd. I am the frog. Um, I am the owner. Um, yeah, if you ever need anything, the mods are Why Desu, aka Lovi, and also Spooky Chameleon. Ooh, Mango popped on. Nice. Mango in the chat? Um, and then, yeah, so this is just kind of the, o the welcome area. Kind of explains just a little bit of how the, the shops work and like how I was saying earlier, we use raw wars and diamonds for money. Uh, stream events are on Thursday. You get here, you can buy it. You can just grab one of these handbooks. It has like all the rules in it that you could ever need. A frog handbook. Um, but if you forget, you can just uh, go on your way. So the center of Frogville, you follow the sign. I will keep my crimes to a minimum. Yeah, maybe build a house before you start doing crimes. The longer you play, the more we can put up with your crimes. But if you just start playing and you're immediately doing crimes, you're more likely to get banned. But I don't think you would get banned. Um. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is the heart of Frogville right here, is Frog HQ. This is the first thing that was ever built. If you go to the top of this tower, Frog HQ was meant to be just like a safe place for people before they build a house in Frogville. And it still is that, so you can like, if you get on and you're, it's nighttime and no one's on and you're scared, you can run in, you could sleep on a bed, you could check these chests to see if there's anything that you want. Usually there's not any great, but this chest is specifically for newcomers. So if you come in here, we have the, more of the handbooks. We have some food that changes out right now. It's bologna sandwiches, some torches, some pickaxes, whatever you need to get started. This chest I fill at random with just random prizes. So right now I just put a bunch of money in there. Um, this is my pet Samuel. There's Mango. Um, these are our, the axolotls. Um, usually there are multiple floors in HQ that have resources and hangout places, but right now they're closed. They have Bologna Minecraft. Well, we have um, we have this thing that automatically, if you accept the the resource pack when you log on, it'll give you a yes or no. We have Subway sandwiches in the game and pizza and custom items. And so yeah, there's bologna sandwiches, bologna mod. <laughs> yeah, we have like, and we also have custom music discs, stuff like that. Um, these are like textures that my mod has done for us. So we have like coffee. Some aren't in the game yet. They're not like for sale in town yet, but um, the sub sandwiches are because we have a subway that you can go to and then we have custom music what's going on here construction read the sign boy read the sign boy <laughs> um whoops so yeah this is just like if you're just starting you can come here just to get started and then um From there, let's see. So this is like center Frogville, so... I can show you on the map to try to make more sense of it real quick. So Frogville is like this big island in the middle, as you can see. And right here is HQ. So to the south is mostly like the city. So it's like the shopping district and downtown is to the south. And then to the east is kind of like an old town. To the north is more farm stuff. To the west is like the boardwalk. And stuff. So, so right now we're to the north of Frogville is the public nether portal. So you can get into the nether here. And then the actual, the main town though, where we always start streams is here so this mcdonald's and target this little area was like the first part of the town that got built and all these little um buildings have shops in them that you can buy stuff from if you want but if you're ever confused the center of town is frog hq which is that big orange building in the um this is the shopping district. All these are little shops. This is Mr. Poops. He was the biggest businessman in all of Frogville. The guy that we kept talking about who was dead, but he started his own town that we just finished the tour of. This is his business, Poop Inc. And it connects over to Devis City, which we just toured. It sells dirt. It's Mr. Poop, and he's a very serious business. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna assume that was an accident. <laughs> Wait, what? Mr. Poop just got on and off. Okay, that that literally made my heart skip a beat. Okay. Dang, that was crazy. He got on for like a half a second. I know they're trying to revive him. I don't know if it'll work. But yeah, this is basically downtown. So 
Um, you can start your own business. Basically, all you have to go have to do is go downtown. If you wanted to start your own business, you just go downtown. Um, you can see this is the frog needle. It's like the space needle. This building here is the Frogville Business Bureau. It's to the right of the frog needle. And if you go in here to this little sign, you can purchase a shopkeeper egg, which makes it so you can make your own shopkeeper. So like you can basically put down your own thing. We are doing tests. I think I may have found a lead. I cannot give information yet. Wow, that's crazy. Um, yeah, these are shop. Some shopkeepers are run by the city, so they have unlimited um, inventory, but you can make your own that has limited inventory that you can sell items that whatever you want. So most of these big buildings are like run by actual people who live in the town. Um, like this is Gabe Inc. Who Gabe is on right now. This is his business. He has a bunch of shopkeepers in here that just sell whatever you want. Any kind of items. And, uh, you know, you can also have pets and, yeah, these are lots of pets and shopkeepers. Oh, and here's an example of the image maps. We have, you know, like, if you need any signage for your business, we can put up whatever image you want into the game. Or if you want like a small print, like a one or two block size print of whatever you want, you can submit it to the print shop. Um, we have a courthouse. Sometimes if there's crimes that happen in town, like there's been a few murders that have needed to be investigated, we will on stream do like a courthouse stream where we try to determine the fate of people and we call it Frog in Order because it's Frogville. And we'll determine, you know, what fate to give people who have done heinous crimes. We have a jail where if you do a heinous crime, you'll have to stay for a certain amount of time. This is a small crime murder. Um, we have a cinema, which currently the... We have a movie theater here, which doesn't show any moving pictures yet. But we have one frame of different movies that are changed out. Right now, you can watch a movie in here if you want. Someone requested we put the Marry Me movie up, which is just kind of funny. Owen Wilson. Um, yeah, there's just lots of lots to explore, lots to discover in Frogville. Um, but you know, there's lots outside of that. There's a few other towns, other people I've created, but the heart of Frogville is this main island. Um, if you are leaving Frogville, You'll usually see, I'll try to show you an example, one of these towers. So this tower usually means that you're leaving Frogville or you're going outside of ter Frogville territory. But um, basically the heart of Frogville is this one island. Here's an example of like uh, apartment buildings. I will give my apartment tour soon. Um, yeah, this is like the beach of Frogville. We have Ikea where you can buy furniture. Um, we have a zoo where you can go to the zoo. Uh, we have billboards where there's like a billboard channel in the Discord where each month people basically bid. The highest bidder can put an advertisement for their business on one of these billboards. So if you win the bid, the bid race, you can... Uh, just send me a pic and I'll put it on one of these billboards for your business. It's kind of funny. And, um, oh yeah, very important though, the banking system. So right there is Frog HQ. Right here, this is Old Town. The buildings look a little older. It's by like the farm and stuff. Um, there's an ATM here. It's the only ATM in town, really. I might add some more soon, but... This is how you exchange, how you make money and exchange currency. So the fastest way probably to make money in Frogville is just to mine some diamonds. And then you can like exchange it for all this currency works in shops. But the most common thing that are used in shops are gold, raw gold, and diamond. Um, so diamond is the most expensive and then gold and then iron and then copper. 
But this is just to exchange it if you want to, you know, if you mine a whole bunch of copper and you just want to cash in for some diamond, maybe you just want to get suited up real quick. Um, so yeah, that's that. This is the bank, which it is sometimes running, but basically you can get your own um, bank card and you can get your own like vault there. That only works for you. It's kind of more just for fun, just for war. But it does work if you have your own, like I have my own card with my own code on it basically and you would go in and you give your your card into here and then it opens up only your chest so it's kind of a cool little thing um so yeah resources if you are going to start this silly when it works i love it um so if you're starting basically what you would want to do unless you just want to go off on your own you would spawn around here you could go up to HQ, just set your spawn point in one of those beds, you know, get some torches, pickaxe just to get started, you know, run out into the wild or wherever you want that you see open. Um, if you need wood and you don't want to go looking for it, we have this tree farm. We just ask that you replant your things. Who didn't do this? I'm going to do a little inspecting. Oh, Sarah? I think Sarah... Who didn't... Could have been Sarah didn't replace it. Anyways. <laughs> Basically, here you can... If you're too lazy to chop down some wood, you can buy some wood from G's D's trees. <laughs> you can just buy some wood if you have money on you. Otherwise, you can just chop trees, but just please... You know the rules. Just replant, replant the the uh, saplings. No biggie. Easy peasy. Yeah, you can just chop them, replant them before you leave. And then we have animals here. You can. I would just ask that you try not to kill too many and try to breed them when you can. You have all the animals here and you can also buy if you just want to buy two of each of these animals for your house to make your own farm you can um but if you kill any of these we just ask that you uh, try to breed them because sometimes yeah this is ricky's farm ricky's in the chat right now and then also yeah these are public farms you know it's kind of the usual thing if you use any of the wheat just replant the seeds no big deal there's plenty to go around just make sure you replant it carrots wheat plenty of food to go around probably the cheapest food in town is usually mcdonald's so from hq if you go to mcdonald's you can buy a lot of food for these guys yeah one gold gives you 10 patties mcmeat patties or you can get fries balls soon we might add burgers but now you get a lot of food for pretty cheap there's a play place down here if you want to let some steam off. You have birthday parties down here. Um, pretty epic. Oh, my music stuff. <clears throat> Let's see, that's kind of the basics. If you have to go, you can go. But I'm going to just show a few other things real quick. So, yeah, this is the main island. And I'll just show a quick preview of all the other territory. Real burger. Oh yeah, here's an example of, um, let's say you haven't found a place to build a house yet. I will show you places you can stay in town before building a house just to stay close to resources. Um, so basically to the east, these are some apartments, the Old Town apartments. So there's a few in here. You can just take whichever one you want, as long as there's no sign on it. You could just build your own little room in one of these. This is just a studio apartment. Um, these two apartment buildings are the same, but yeah, just take whatever one is not open. So this is an example of one that is used. It has stuff in it. But if there's nothing in it, you can just put your name on the sign and you can like keep your chests in there before you find a place to build like a real house. Um, 
Oh, I should show you the subway system. So, subway system is pretty simple. Usually, you would take the stairs down from Frog HQ down to the central station. But right now, that part is kind of closed. But you just go underneath. And this is like the subway station. And you can basically get to like all the different towns or parts of town from this station. Got some weird loading happening. <laughs> yeah, this is the subway station. And this pillar thing is kind of the heart of everything. It's under the HQ, so it shows you what where each direction goes. So it's like a good way to explore. If you just have some a little bit of gold, you can buy a, a minecart. And then these are like an automated system. If you just put your minecart here, left button makes you go left, right button makes you go right, this button makes you go straight. And this tells you where it's going to take you. So this, if I go straight, it'll take you into the subway. The left, it takes you to the shopping district downtown. To the right is North Frogville and the Nether Porter. Porter. Portal. Um, this stairway usually would go up to HQ, but it's kind of blocked off right now. Um, this is the subway shopping district. There's only one shop in here right now, which is the subway. That's why we have the subway sandwich. So this is where you go to get your subway sandwiches, and you got to drink your kilk, which is coke, coke and milk, and it looks like this. There's lots of rules. You got to drink the sand on the bottom. It's the main thing, as you'll see. No kilk sand in the trash cans. Please drink the kilk. Don't forget to drink the kilk. Danny DeVito, DeVito on the way out. We got the kilk machine here. But yeah, you can buy kilk, funky chili, but don't ask about the chili. Buy all kinds of sub sandwiches here. The apple chip sub is pretty good. Bologna sub. Subway in the subway. Yeah. Yeah, there's sand. For some reason, when you add milk to Coke, it separates and then it gets clear in the middle and then it's there's sand on the bottom. You got to make sure you drink the sand. Well, this is just normal kilk. So you might order some kilk. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this, and it has the sand. You can see it on the picture. It has sand on the bottom, kind of, but that's good for you. It's good for your skin. It's good for your health. You just have to drink that because we don't want it in the trash can. You just make sure to drink the sand. Um, syrup binds to the protein in the milk and cream. Yeah. Yeah, this is the subway. And soon there will be more shops that people can rent out. These are going to be spaces people can put businesses in. Right now they're... It's Kilk. So yeah, the subway system goes each way. Uh-oh, Mango made something. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, wing stuff. This is epic though. Ooh, chicken wing. Maybe I should try one. Let's try one. That's why it doesn't have much seasoning. <laughs> Just a wing. Interesting. Hot wings are nice. <clears> hmm. 
<clears throat> I'll show you how to sell it back. In case you don't know. Oh, you did already? Oh. Hmm. Maybe it just bought it back. Oh no, there it is. Put it back in. Okay, so that one's for sale again. Um, this is the jail. Where this little wanted board has like people that are known to be doing crimes in, around town that we're looking for. We still haven't caught this guy. There's someone who puts these signs around and just does little annoying things like leaving doors open all around town. We're still trying to find him. If you have any information, you can put it in this box. Uh, Hect is working on it. We got a police force. We got some jail cells for the murderers or whatever they do. Um, yeah, Spooky Ink. Yeah, but we also hold oh, the. I keep skinning out my police crew. Hospital where you can buy. Uh, you buy health potions, blood transfusions. There's also a uh, a sewer below all of town that kind of connects the town. That we don't really speak about much, but there is a secret sewer under all of the town. Lots of secret tunnels and things to explore and discover. And there's like a new town being created under the town. Very mysterious and strange things happening under here. It's just fine. So yeah, that's kind of Frogville in a nutshell. We're still here. Um, yeah, it's epic. And if you want to find a place to build a house, um, the heart of Frogville is mostly, if you want a small house, I could probably find you a spot. But most of like the main island of Frogville is taken. Um, but North Frogville, we have like a whole suburb district, which is going to open soon, which has like a whole housing district where people can buy houses or they can buy land to build a house on. Um, but you know, if you're just starting, I could probably find you a place to build a house for free. The housing district is more for like veterans who have some money to buy. Hey lady. Hey. That's a cool sweater. It's my mom's. Oh, you stole it? Yep. Oh yeah. Well, I think that that's the stream. It's been a little bit longer of a stream. Oh wait, let me show Did my apartment. Did I just apartment. ruin it? No, oh, I was already at the end. Oh. I should show my apartment real quick. Ooh, Ikea! Yeah, Ikea. Starbucks. Dog meat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to my apartment. Yes, yeah, Ducky sweater, Elio. Hello, Elio. Oh yeah, your mom is Ducky. So yeah, this is going to be open soon. These are like uh, fancy apartments, but I just have one because I don't have a house right now. Yeah, this is It's my... okay, Elio. Just never do it again. I'll Sorry. give you guys the tour of my new apartment that I moved into last week with my new dog. Okay. So this is how I kind of have decorated it so far, all right? Apartment tour commence, right? So you walk in into the kitchen. There's like a mailbox that I can access right here. If you ever want to leave me mail, leave it here, not at Frog HQ anymore. Leave it at my apartment. Ooh, I will tell Corey is your... This is my little kitchen, little dining table. It's very relaxed. Basically, I built this because I've never really had a house since I'm usually in creative when I play on the server, but I wanted like a place that is my own. So I started building my own apartment in this building. Eventually I will have a house with a yard, but this is what I have right now. Um, little kitchen, you know, supposed to be like a fridge. There's some space. I put one of Corey's prints up here. Little kitchen, little microwave. I got a ghetto blaster boombox here so I can play some big step or whatever. Up it on. Um, and then, yeah, here's my bedroom. I got a little desk here with my laptop. 
from the Best Buy. I got an amp. I gotta get a guitar. I kind of want to get a custom guitar. Ice grape jelly and peanut butter. Good, but great. And that's a good question. Um, this is my TV from the Best Buy. Got a little uh, fireplace. This is my little bed. The F phone, which is the frog phone. Right there. Got alarm clock. I got a. This is a mirror picture from the airplane crash stream. <laughs> This is where my fits are gonna go. Um, yeah, this is, you know, this is where I study and where I write. I might start keeping a journal. I might put, like, a lectern here. A phone. <laughs> um, I might put, like, a journal here so if people come, they can see kind of how Mr. Poop has a, a diary. I should start one. Yeah, this is my room. It's just kind of simple and epic. Eventually, I'll have a house, but this is my nice little apartment fireplace you know and then let's go say hi to rufus who's my new dog um after decorating the whole apartment though i realized i didn't have any space for a bathroom but i figure rufus and i can just share this pee spot right here so either of us has to take a number one we got a pee spot right here here's rufus he's still alive he's not been killed or died in any way Still want to do some experiments on him to try to make it so he can live forever. I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, the pee block. That's the pee block. That's food. He's having a nice time. Let's see if he likes chicken wing. Oh, he does. Cool. Special pee block. Yeah, they should add it. Frozen pee block. Nice. Yeah, so I have these little blocks so I can jump off to. Yeah, that's my apartment tour. Pretty simple. Um, eventually, whenever the houses open up, I might move into a house, but it's just kind of an epic little apartment. I was thinking it could be kind of cool to start streams here and then go to HQ. Not sure. It's relaxed. Should get some items in here. I gotta get some kilk in the fridge for sure. And yeah, that's that. I think I'm going to end the stream there, but thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll see you guys later. If anyone is new and wants to hang out in town, just hop in the Discord to go down to the Frogville channels. Got all your info there. I can help you right through it. Uh, we'll just have fun. Um, I think tomorrow night we're going to be playing some late night um, games to celebrate Elio and Lucy's B-Days. Um, so hang out tomorrow a little later. I usually do the late night streams around 9 p.m. PST, which would be basically in an hour and a half from now, but tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later, all right? Conkers is epic. I need to get a copy of that for the N64 for the basement stream. Also, yeah, we do basement streams where we play some PS2 and stuff. I think I can probably come. That would be very cool. Yeah, we've been playing just random kind of like party games with the chat, like Garlic Phone or Scribble or whatever people can think of that we can all play together. That's pretty easy and chill. Um, yeah, see you guys later. And hopefully um, Fox Academy single soon, Richie Woods single soon, and albums, multiple albums, hopefully soon. We'll see do what we can. Buy Fox Academy merch if you can. Why not? Um, leak it. We're leaking. And maybe I'll leak some stuff on there in the music discord. Keep an eye on it. Um, I'll see you guys later, alright? Thanks for hanging out. You guys are very epic, very cool, and very fun. Oh, wait. One sec. Let me show you guys something. I wonder if it'll show up on camera. Let me see. My shirt glows in the dark, but I wonder if it'll show up. I guess you can't really tell. Uh, you can't tell. This shirt glows in the dark. Anyways, see you guys later. <laughs> okay, bye.